Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with Season 1, Episode 3 of my Juventus career mode series, fully licensed on FIFA's Realism mod. Here today, we're in the February calendar month. We have Lazio coming up in the league, then them in the cup. We've also got a match against Jose Mourinho's Roma, and we also play Manchester United in the knockout round of the Champions League in the round of 16. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so in the league, after 22 games played, we sit on 57 points, just ahead of Inter. In second, it's a title race between us two. Lazio are in third, and AC Milan in fourth. We've won the Supercoppa this season, and we're in the semi-finals of the Coppa Italia. So still a lot of trophies to be won and played for. All right. Let's get stuck into the first match of today's video against Lazio, who are currently sitting in third. Dabala is the top goal scorer. Immobile is theirs. Pretty decent side as well. They've also also uh, recently signed Nicolas Pepe from Arsenal. He's made the switch to the Italian league. He's playing on that left-hand side with Felipe Anderson. Playing on the right, they have a knack for West Ham, uh, sort of London wingers, <laughs> let's say. Bringing in the former West Ham man and the former Arsenal man. Alright, let's kick off and get this underway. Locatelli, Pogba to Arthur. He slipped him on through. Great goal and a brilliant assist from Paul Pogba. Signing in January on deadline day. Yeah, this is his league debut, isn't it? First match of the season in Italy. He's put it on a plate there for Arthur running forward. I've made the decision to play Paul Pogba as a cam. As out of the midfield three, Arthur, Locatelli and Pogba. Who do you reckon? I think Pogba is the best cam out of those three if they have to play there. Delict. Charging forward. Pogba. Oh my god, he slipped through Dabala. That's two assists from the Frenchman. And we're 2-0 up against Lazio just before the 21st. And Dabala is continuing on his campaign as the top goal scorer. Dabala again here. Burns past the Lazio defense. It's great to see them fully licensed in the realism mod, of course. Pogba turns his man. Pogba! Oh, off the crossbar. Oh, how did that not go in? Denied. Unfortunately. Immobile to Milinkovic Savic. Oh, taken down there. It's going to be a yellow card. It was nearly the last man. 24 yards out. Pepe on the ball. Jumps over the football. Savic, ball in. Just wide of the post. Wow, okay. Pogba slips through Locatelli. To Kulusevski, 3 0. Wow, Paul Pogba is running the show from attacking midfield. I actually kind of like playing Pogs as an attacking midfielder. If you can just get his pace up a bit, he is such a destroyer. He's so physical, so tall in FIFA. Arthur, second half now, back to Dabala. We go again. Strakosha manages to get his glove onto that one. Ball in, trying to find Delict. He's on a yellow. It's fallen to Locatelli. Whoa! Oh my God, we've scored some crazy goals in this Juventus series, but that one's probably going to top it off. That's something special by Locatelli. What a strike! A stick of dynamite there from the corner kick. Delict went up for the football. Couldn't get to it. It fell to Locatelli, and he just had to hit it on the volley there. Look at that. That's probably the goal of the season right there. That's sensational as well. Smashing the side netting. And to be honest, that's probably game, set, match. 4-0. I wouldn't imagine that Lazio, with another 50 minutes left, would come back and win this one. And they didn't do anything. Oh, no. But unfortunately, Chesney picked up an injury. Oh, that's terrible. How long for? Oh, that's what I get for simulating like that. What's happened? Seven weeks! Oh, that could have wrecked the... Oh, no. Oh, that's probably... The... That could wreck the career series. 
particularly that champions. Like, look, we're secure in in um, Syria, but he's going to be out for the United match. Oh no, we're going to have to bring in Purin or some other goalkeeper. Oh my God, how unlucky is that? 31 years of age, 87 rated Chesney is out. So we're going to have to bring in Purin, who's an 81 rated goalkeeper and looks terrible <laughs> compared to Chesney. He's probably an okay goalkeeper in his right, but wow, so disappointing. Okay, we had a match against Lazio in the cup and we went on and beat them 1-0. Back in the league, unfortunately, we drew to Roma thanks to a Mkhitaryan and Chiesa goal 1-1. Alrighty, so here are the overall ratings this season. Dybala's gone up a plus two, Delict with a plus three. I just thought I'd go through the stats. Pogba, and he's just recently joined. Chiesa's now 87 rated, which is insane. Uh, Kulusevski is now 85. Dybala is our top goal scorer, followed by Murata, Chiesa, and Kulusevski. And then Locatelli makes up the top group. Alrighty, round of 16, we face Manchester United which is crazy. We faced them without Chesney. Alrighty, we're going to be hosting them at Turin. Juventus versus Manchester United. We haven't had the best record against Premier League sides, particularly in the Champions League. Chelsea banged us up a couple of times. We're not replicating our real-life form in that department. But anyway, we face Cristiano Ronaldo. He's facing his former side, along with, of course, Paul Pogba. And there's one more player. Have you guys forgotten who it was? You probably have. Juan Cadrado. We sold for £20 million to United. We might even see him here today, which would be cool. But yeah, he's joined the Red Devils. Chiesa, 87 rated now, driving the football forward. A lot of people joining. Puts it at the back post. Luke Shaw with the header. Oh, interesting shot at Purin. McTominay. Ronaldo. Oh, my God. How is Purin tracked that one? Sancho. Berlin. In great interception. We're really going to have to rely on our center backs to stop shots on target. Oh, my God. Luckily, they didn't have too much pace about it. Mm, United. Playing some great football here. Luke Shaw beats Selic. Danilo has to come out. Ball to Fernandez. Wow. That had such power and pace on it. There was no way. <laughs> that, is it Perrin or Purin? I don't know. He couldn't get to it. Perrin. Ah, 1 0 down. Devastating. Pogba against his former side. Trying to get past one. Bissaka beats 1 2. Yeah, and he might have to go for a shot here. Oh, my God. I thought he might be able to curl it in. Sometimes he can do that. Chiesa. Pogba. To Locatelli. Kulusevski. Oh, he's burned past him. Come on. Finish it. Yes. Kulusevski makes it 1-1 in the 75th minute to answer, answer Bruno Fernandes' goal. You gotta forget that Bruno Fernandes used to play for Udinese. He used to play in uh, Serie A. Uh, ball over the top. Luke Shaw going forward. Trying to find the head of Cristiano. Fernandes back in Italy is loving it. Bruno Fernandes. Oh my god. What a turning strike. And that is probably it, as he brings Donny van der Beek on. So, against Ralph Ranić's Manchester United, I'm going to role-play it. It was them. We've managed to draw 1-1. Okay, so Pogba can be turned into a cam now. Hopefully, he can get that stat boost. But yeah, he just needs to get that pace up, and he'll be awesome. He'll be poggers. <laughs> right, 3-0. We managed to beat Bologna, thanks to a hat-trick from Dybala. All right, back in the league, we managed to beat Florentina 2-1, thanks to Kulusevski and Dybala. Okay, and we've still got another leg in the Coppa Italia to deal with. And we've beaten Lazio again, now totaling 3-0 on aggregate. Back in the league as well, we had a match against Empoli, but Selic managed to score the winner in the 84th, the Turkish lad, which is good for him. Dybala starting off the scoring. 
All right, so round of 16, we're currently drawing 1-1. We're going to have to play the second leg now against United. We go to Old Trafford, the Theatre of Dreams. This is going to be a tough one. So Chesney is still not back. So Perrin will have to play this one. Yeah, maybe in January I should have invested in a backup goalkeeper, to be honest. But anyway, let's get stuck into the Red Devils. All right, it's all to play for here. Our Champions League campaign. Look, the main objective of this first season is to try and win the league, reclaim it from Inter. I don't really mind about the Coppa Italia, to be honest, the domestic Italian Cup. But I definitely want to try and, want to try and make the Champions League final. It looks like they're changing up the tactics slightly. Um, I guess Chiesa was getting too much space over Juan Basaka, so they brought in Juan Cadrado, which is interesting. But at Old Trafford, the Theatre of Dreams, United are starting off well here. Selic can't get Sancho. Man, they are really just going for it from kickoff. All right, Selic has been all right since joining, but uh, I would have liked Mar Marozawi, to be honest. R oh, Cristiano, Rashford. Ah! We just got them too close into the box. That was some terrible containing and defending overall there. And we're 2-1 down to United. Yeah, I don't know. We've just been RNG'd, to be honest. We've been so, so unlucky due to that Chesney injury. The Champions League campaign might be over. Anyway, Pog... No, terrible there. Oh, Dybala somehow got that. Go on, boys. Chiesa. Just needs to beat one Cadrado. <gasps> oh, my God. That was like a continuous shot there from seven minutes. Oh my god, I thought I fluffed it up with Pogba there, but somehow it fell to Dybala. Chiesa gets closed down by one Cadrado, and he just goes near post OP and rattles that one into the back of the net. It's all tied. Delict, wanting to encourage the boys to go forward. Sandro sides it. Locatelli, Pogba. Go on, Pogs. Go on, Pogs! Oh my god. Paul Pogba makes it 2-1. Um, oh, my God. Nice little two pieces of skill moves there. And finishes it off, tops it off with a top right banger as well. Oh, my God. Look at that. Curling away perfectly. Inch perfect, actually, against David De Gea. And we're 3-2 up. And, of course, it was that man to put Ralph Ranick's side in the mud. 3-2 <laughs> on aggregate, 2-1 in this match. Let's go, boys. Even without Chesney as well. Crikey. Pogba's first goal in seven games as well. Fred finds Sancho back to Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano makes it 3-3. Oh my god, what a crazy fixture this is. Manchester United are still not down and out for the count. And thanks to Cristiano, it's tied once again. Dabala, oh my god, fantastic piece of skill. Gets caught though, doesn't want to lose possession. Arthur, oh come on, he should have dropped, it could have been a penalty. Fernandez, Rashford. And we'll try and... Start things up again. Pogba. Oh, he slipped through Dabala there in the 38th. He's away. He's at the back. And, of course, Dabala's going to score one-on-one -on -one against David De Gea. The dude's nearly 90 rated now. Played attacking midfield, center forward most of this season. But now that Pogba's come in, he has been my main number one striker. I still haven't forgot about Morata. We might need to bring him on a bit later. Pogba. Holding the football well. Just trying to find some support. De Gea. Big save. Chiesa. Come on. Can we get one more goal here? No, just over the bar. But that's it. We've managed to beat Ralph Ranić's United by the smallest of margins there. 4-3 on aggregate. I feel bad for United. So, Liverpool beat Real Madrid, though. That's huge. And Chesney is now back 
from his injury, which is fantastic. Luckily, that didn't cost me, cost me the campaign in the season. Oh, my God. Thank God he's back. All right, back in the league. Now that Chesney's between the two sticks, we should just start conceding a lot less. We had another victory here, 2-1. And then we had a match against Atalanta, which we drew 1-1. All right, back in the Champions League. We've made it to the quarterfinals, but we've been drawn against Atletico Madrid. Liverpool play Man City, PSG Villarreal, Dortmund Wolfsburg. All righty, let's get stuck into Atletico Madrid, one of the harder teams to get drawn against in that crop, to be perfectly honest. Did you guys see that Chelsea got knocked out by um, Wolfsburg, which is kind of crazy? But it looks like... This Champions League campaign isn't ultra-competitive. competitive. have got Wolfsburg, teams like Villarreal um, making the quarterfinals. It's definitely there to win. But Atletico Madrid, as you would have just seen there, have signed Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. What a crazy front two that would be. With uh, him and Griezmann. <laughs> just with the pace. Anyway, let's get things underway against Atleti. Pogba. Chiesa. Oh, just over the crossbar. First real attempt at home. Good start. Chiesa. To Dybala. Pogba. Go on, Pog. Oh, my God. Dybala's made it 1-0. Just for the 28th. Good. We're starting off the scoring well. Great finish. Pogs. Oh my god. Dybala beats one with a bit of skill. And has to get that inch perfect. To get it past Oblak between the two sticks. Oh my god. He's only just <laughs> edged that one on through in the top left. Good stuff, Dabala. 1 0, we're up. Griezmann. Oh my god. Chesney back in the Champions League. Now being tested. Locatelli. Ah. Couldn't get to it. Coque. Back to Griezmann. DePaul in the Champions League. Oh my god, what a. Great piece of football there. Carrasco. Oh, my God. How have we been caught over the top by an overlapping full ball, through ball there? That's a very human player type of goal to score, to be honest. Dabala. Back to Pogs. Come on, Pogs. Danilo. Dabala. Come on, we need an answer quickly. Oh, he's pulled it wide of the post. No, oh, no, here we go. Can dog be out to Lorente? <sighs> Super close this match. Honestly, any one of us could go through. Bernadeschi fresh off the bench, though. Oh, my God. How have we... Missed too many open goals like that. Oh my god, he's dragged it as well. It was bending all right. Mm. Lorente. Coque. Oh, and of course. Oh, they just score a deflection there. Oh, they win in the 90th minute as well. I can't stand that stuff. <laughs> Why do we always concede in the 90th minute? Yeah, it seems to be a common occurrence across most career modes. It's definitely been a, a thread in the comments and a theme I've seen. Look at this. It wasn't even on target, but why would... Oh my god, it was a handball anyway. And it's somehow got a huge deflection and ricocheted off the defense and Diego Simeone is going ecstatic. 
Suarez makes it 2-1. So now we have to go to the Wanda. Oh, that's it. Morata against his former side as well. Oh, well. Well, we're still alive in the Champions League. It's only one goal down. But we'll have to play that second leg at the start of the next episode. So, bit of a cliffhanger. Stay tuned for that one. Coming out soon. Season 1, Episode 4. We're still fighting in the Champions League. And we're still in a two-horse title race in the league between myself and Inter Milan. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Gotta say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C, and Wyatt P. So thanks guys, my name is Ben Simsy, much love from Australia, goodbye.